In this lecture, we are going to look at how to create a redirect test. Just to remind you what a redirect test is, redirect test is simply an A-B test, but instead of changing the elements on a page, we are splitting the users into two different pages. Generally, a redirect test is used when you are changing a bunch of elements on a page and it's very difficult to manage those by changing the elements on a page. In that case, you might just create a new page or multiple pages that you want to test against each other. So let's head over to Analytics Hire, which is where I'm going to be conducting this experiment on and see what this looks like. On Analytics Hire, I have a page called Candidates Available. This is how it looks currently. And I've created another version of it, which is called Candidates Available B. So previous page was Candidates Available. This page is just another version of that. I have made few changes here. Here is an icon of a picture. If a candidate has a picture available, then it will show up here. And then I have also made some font changes and some alignment changes. So you can see these pages, page B, page A. So those are two different pages. When the users arrive, on this page. This is the default page. When users arrive on this page, Google Optimize makes a decision whether to show this page or behind the scene redirect the user to this page. It's going to do a 50-50 split if I, that's what I choose to do or whatever the split you decide to do. But those are the two versions that will be tested against each other using the metrics that we define as our objective. So let's go back to Analytics Hire and click on Create Experiment. Give your experiment a name. Again, you should give a descriptive name. I am simply going to call it a redirect test. The URL of the page will be the main page that we're testing, the control version, which is candidates available. So copy it and paste it. Now this is a redirect test, so click on redirect and then click on create. You're already familiar with this interface. You have to create a variant. Go ahead and click on create variant and then it asks you where is the variant. So for our variant is candidates available B, which is this page. So we give that, that's the final URL, original URL is this. Let's leave it as variant one and click it and add. So now you got two variants with 50-50 split. We are going to leave it as 50-50 split. Now let's pick our objective, add experiment objective. We are going to choose from list. In this case, my objective is to increase the page views. I'm expecting people to see the new page and likely click on more profiles. That's the whole point. So I am going to pick this as my objective. Go ahead and write your description and hypothesis. New page design will lead to more page views. Targeting, we are going to leave targeting as default and enabled on page load. Go ahead and save it and start experiment. So you'll get this message. Go ahead and click on start. And now our experiment is live. And users will start to see one of those variants as they go through it. Once the data starts to be collected, you will see that in the reporting. 